2024 and the ultimate political decider has been brought in, the ultimate Brahmastra as it were. Why? Because the CA may be aimed at providing citizenship to persecuted minorities, but its political impact is going to be as massive as that of the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha and the revocation of Article 370. Why? Because if there's one message that it sends out unequivocally, it is that the Modi government has delivered on all of its historical promises, whether it be Article 370, the Ram Mandir or now the CA. Second, it forces all non-BJP parties to pick sides. Are they for or against the granting of Indian citizenship to these minorities in our neighborhood? Third, this is something that they will all be naturally wary of, given the strong Hindu sentiment in the wake of the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha. Opposing citizenship of Hindus after boycotting the Ram Mandir is not a risk that many parties would be willing to take. It's not a message that they want to send out at all. And finally, the biggest message of them all, of India as a country that remains the sole refuge of persecuted Hindus. A powerful imagery at the time of elections. A Congress party, a Congress party, 70 साल तक राम मंदिर के मुद्दे को अटकाती रही, भटकाती रही, लटकाती रही। अरे आपने तो बनाया नहीं मंदिर, मोदी जी ने बनाया। 70 70 साल से Congress party ये धारा 370 को लेकर चलती थी, नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने 5 अगस्त 2019 को धारा 370 को एक झटके में समाप्त कर दिया और अभी-अभी कल ही हमने कहा था हम हमने कहा था हम CAA लाएंगे which is why the non BJP parties are now choosing their response very very carefully Barring those like IUML, AIUDF, AIMIM who have outright called it an anti-Muslim law, other parties like the TMC, the DMK, the Congress have chosen to dance around the elephant in the room. Most have questioned the timing, asking why it took over four years for the rules to be notified when the law had been brought in after the last Lok Sabha elections itself. Others have called it an attempt to deflect from the embarrassment of poll bonds. But the most interesting balancing act came from the TMC, which called it harmful, not just for the Muslims, saying that it will take away their citizenship, but also for Hindus in equal measure. In 2019, in our city, 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 in Citizenship Amendment Bill, जो citizenship, citizenship Amendment Act हो बना, अधिनियम बना, ये दिसंबर 2019 को लोकसभा में और राज्यसभा में पारित हुआ। चुनावी रणनीति ध्रुवीकरण की होती है, और खास तौर से पश्चिम बंगाल और असम के इलेक्शन को लेकर ये अभी घोषणा की गई है। दूसरी बात, ये हेडलाइन मैनेजमेंट है। देखिए ऐसा है कि हम 2024 मार्च में बैठे हैं। आपके पास 10 साल थे आप कानून ला सकते थे अब जब दो चार दिन के बाद आचार संहिता लग जाएगी तब आज आप कानून लेकर आ रहे हैं एंड सच अ मेजर्ड रिस्पांस इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल गिवन दैट इन द क्लोजेस्ट कांटेस्ट it's going to be in West Bengal. No party would want to upset the Matwas, Rajbanshis, Namashudras, all of whom stand to gain from the CEA. There were celebrations amid these communities today. After the notification, the Matwa community is a Hindu refugee group that came to India during the partition. They have sizable presence in South Bengal. The Rajbanshis are refugees from Bangladesh and are spread out across at least three Lok Sabha seats in North Bengal. But this dilemma is not of this one state alone. Across the country, from Tamil Nadu to Rajasthan to Delhi, the BJP today went on the offensive against those opposing the CEA, questioning why Kanads were being spread in order to gain political capital. In fact, Amit Shah even linked it to the Ram Mandir, saying that those who oppose the Ram Mandir are the very same who are now opposing the CEA, with their intent being the same, appeasement and politics of vote bank. This is the Sri Lankan refugee brothers and sisters inside our state at the first available opportunity 
their citizenship should be fast tracked based on the available rules and regulation the government of india has having ar boi to tani prashno ache mukhyamantri nitya kotha bolchen bhote age kichu manush ki bibhrant korar chesta kore korche protibari kore notun kichu na nitya kotha bolche ebong amra je ca er madhye nagorikotto debo bolechi nagorikotto pabe karo nagorikotto jawar 1% to chance nei karo nei এবং মুখ্যমন্ত্রী মিথ্যে কথা বলছেন সেটা আমরা খাতে কলমে কাগজে কলমে প্রমাণ করে দেখি মুখ্যমন্ত্রীকে চ্যালেঞ্জ থাকলো আগামী দু বছরের মধ্যে তো সবাই অ্যাপ্লাই করে নাগরিকত্ব পেয়ে যাবে তখন যদি মুখ্যমন্ত্রী চ্যালেঞ্জ নিতে পারে যে কারণ নাগরিকত্ব বাতিল হচ্ছে সি এর পরে তাহলে মুখ্যমন্ত্রীর সামনে আর কান্দোল উপভোগ করতে রাজি হচ্ছে So the simple question now is in the current atmosphere has the CA announcement put the non BJP parties in a spot has the BJP by linking op- opposition to CA by opposition to the Ram Mandir again framed this as an 80-20 fight with every other party now forced to pick sides joining us on the debate Sanju Verma national spokesperson of the BJP Sameer Chogankar senior journalist A Sarvanath spokesperson of DMK Nikhil Jain political consultant my first question is to Dr Riju Datta national spokesperson of the TMC Dr Datta does this make a difficult situation for you because you want those eight seats which are muslim dominated also but you also want those seven seats which are dominated by the matwas and the rajbanshis which one will you choose now Padmanja we will win the eight seats dominated by the muslims and we will win the seven seats dominated by the matwas also Now let me uh, get things into perspective. When we are discussing the Matwas, please somebody explain to me a Matwa community, a person from the Matwa community who has a voter card, whose son is studying in a school in India, who is doing a government job, has voted for a BJP candidate named Shantanu Thakur. He has won the election, is a Lok Sabha member, and is the shipping minister in the Modi ji's cabinet. So after CAA, what new citizenship will happen? or are they saying shantanu thakur a minister in the modi's cabinet is not a citizen of india or the matua who voted for shantanu thakur is not a citizen of india what is it hmm. bottom line is it is unconstitutional anti minority and undemocratic policy against the basic tenets of the constitution so let in me just Bengal, ask you we have let got, me ask you a yes or no question CAA let me ask you a yes or no just, question sir yeah. do you as the tmc official representative yeah. favor the granting of citizenship to matwas and rajbanshis yes or no matwas and rajbanshis residing in bengal are citizens of this country we unlike assam we will not have any detention camps here and we will not let ca which is the pretense to Im- imposing nrc we will not let bjp take the citizenship rights of people so you have not answered my question it was no a fairly straightforward camp. question there will be no ca and nrc in bengal the granting of indian citizenship to matwas and rajbanshis yes or no Matwas and Rajbanshis residing in Bengal are already Indian citizens. Okay, respond to this, Sanju Verma. This is just NRC tokenism. To take away their citizenship rights. Okay, so this is just tokenism. Matwas, Rajbanshis are already citizens. Okay, you know, Padma uh, Ja, uh, Riju Datta used some very strong and harsh words. He said that the CAA is illegal, unconstitutional, undemocratic. So my first rebuttal to him is this. please educate yourself on the 9th of december 2019 the caa was passed in the lok sabha with a majority of 311 votes in favor only 8080 votes against and on the 11th of december 2019 the caa was passed in the rajya sabha with a tally of 125 votes in favor and only 105 votes against so for you to sit here and say it is illegal and unconstitutional is basically a whole lot of goldash because you are questioning the working of the indian parliamentary ethic point number 2 way before mamata banerjee became the chief minister in 2011 her predecessor in 2007 buddhadev bhattacharya had clearly said that while there are many home grown mathuas who obviously have legitimate citizenship status there are many mathuas who come from east pakistan as in bangladesh now who do not have legitimate citizenship status and they need to be rehabilitated and their citizenship status needs to be made legitimate 
And when Mamta Banerjee became the Chief Minister for the first time, Padmaja, hmm. in 2011, she is currently serving her third term. What was the biggest promise Mamta Banerjee made? She said, I will rehabilitate those from the Mathua community who come from East Pakistan and who still don't have a legitimate citizenship status in India. Shantanu Thakur, by the way, is a homegrown Matwa. He did not migrate from East Pakistan or Bangladesh, Biju. So don't try and confuse people hmm. on a national television debate. My third and most important point is this. You keep saying Narendra Modi has an eye on elections. And that is why he brought in the CAA after four years. Had we done it in 2021, you would have said we are doing it with an eye on Bengal and Assam elections. Had we done it in 2022, you would have accused us of doing it with an eye on Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Manipur and Goa elections. Had we done it at the start of 2023, you would have accused us of doing it with an eye on Tripura, Nagal and Meghalaya elections. Had we done it at the end of 2023, you would have accused us of doing it with an eye on Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh elections. Okay. So, Modi Sarkar kuch bhi kare, kab bhi kare, you are going to rant, rave and play the victim card. Continue doing so. Okay. Before you, Chudatta, you respond, I think it's important for our viewers to actually get the political calculation of this. The BJP says they are doing it for rights, but what is going to be the political implication? First, let's talk about the Matwas. They are spread across South Bengal and they have an effect on at least five Lok Sabha seats there. What are their five Lok Sabha constituencies? Bongao, Ranaghat, Barasat, Krishna Nagar and Barakpur. Now you will know why the TMC is in a dilemma here. These three seats were won by them and this time opinion polls show that out of 42 seats, it's likely to be a 2021 fight between the BJP and the Congress. They cannot afford these three seats where, by the way, they already have a problem. Krishna Nagar, held by Mahua Moitra, large Matua population. Barasat already has the Sandesh Khali problem in this very close to this seat, this is where the Prime Minister did a rally. Barakpur, Arjun Singh denied a ticket, has turned a rebel over here. Yuri Judatta certainly do not want an additional CA headache to hit you in these Matwa seats. Now, can I answer? Yes, go on. Thank please. you. See, again I have said the CA will not have any political effect in Bengal because the Matwa that the Rajbangsis are too clever to understand because they know as soon as they start applying online, they will become illegal immigrants. They certainly don't want to do that because they're already citizens of this country. Now coming to Sanjuji, if any law, any act is passed in brute majority in the parliament, like how you passed the farm laws and we know what happened, based on religion, it is against the basic Indian constitution. And last but not the least, when CAA and NRC was applied in Assam. Hmm. There were 13 lakhs Hindus that were sent to detention camps. Many of them committed suicide. So CAA, they, as you are portraying that we, it is all for the love of prosecuted Hindus, actually you are taking away citizenship from the Hindus of this country, showing other countries. In Bengal, it will not happen, not happen, not happen. Hmm. Let me actually also show you the other place where CA is going to affect the voters in West Bengal. We are talking about North Bengal where Rajabanshis are there. And there you will further understand. Remember, North Bengal is where the BJP had made maximum inroads in 2019. And it was thanks to this Rajabanshi vote. How? Let's show you. They affect at least three Lok Sabha seats in West Bengal. We are talking about the Rajabanshis. Those three seats are... Kuch Bihar was won by BJP in 2019, Nishit Pramanik. Jalpai Gudi, again won by the BJP, Jayant Kumar Roy in 2019. Balur Ghat, where you have Shikanta Majumdar himself, again won by the BJP. And John Barla, Ali Purdwar won by the BJP. So this is as far as the Bengal situation is concerned. Rock and hard place. But Samir Ji, this is not just about Bengal. Today was interesting thing that Amit Shah said that look, the Ram Mandir was the same as the Ram Mandir. वही सीए के खिलाफ है क्या इन दोनों चीजों को जोड़ करके ऑपोजिशन के सामने एक सवाल रखा जा रहा है कि आप चूज कर लीजिए आप हिंदुओं के साथ हैं या आप मुसलमान वोट को पैंडर कर रहे हैं डेफिनेटली निश्चित रूप से पद्मजा जी भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने 2014 के बाद से जिस तरह की राजनीति का ट्रेंड स्टेब्लिश किया है कि सभी का साथ और सभी का विकास करने का जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी का मूल मंत्र है 
वही अब जाकर विपक्ष को परेशान कर रहा है राम मंदिर की बात हो सीए की बात हो यह बताता है कि विपक्ष किस लाइन पर चलना चाहता है और प्रधानमंत्री मोदी ने उनके सामने कितनी बड़ी लाइन खींच कर रख दी है जिसके कारण विपक्ष अब यह परेशानी महसूस कर रहा है आज मतुआ समाज को लेकर बात हो रही है सीए को लेकर ममता बनर्जी विरोध कर रही है मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं यह वही ममता बनर्जी है जब दो में इन्होंने मतुआ समाज के व्यक्ति को बनगांव से टिकट दिया था और यह कहा था कि यह समाज अब हमारे साथ जुड़ेगा क्योंकि हम इस समाज को राजनीति से ताकत दे रहे उनकी डेथ हो गई 2014 के चुनाव के बाद तो उनकी वाइफ को ममता माता को टिकट दिया बनगांव से उसके बाद 2019 से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने वहां से उनके दूसरे बेटे के शांतनु ठाकुर को वहां से टिकट दिया तो मतुआ के लिए दो के लोकसभा चुनाव में ममता बनर्जी कह चुकी थी कि मतुआ समाज को हम उसका हक दिलवाएंगे और हम इन्हें राजनीति से ताकत देना चाहते हैं आज ममता बनर्जी को तकलीफ हो रही है सीए क्या है सीए तो उन्हीं लोगों के लिए ना कि जो दूसरे देशों के अंदर तीन देशों में प्रताड़ित है धार्मिक रूप से और देश में अगर उन्हें राजनीतिक नागरिकता मिल रही देश के अंदर उन्हें तो ममता बनर्जी को तकलीफ क्या होना चाहिए यह नागरिक नागरिकता देने का कानून है नागरिकता लेने का कानून नहीं है वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑलमोस्ट ऑन क्यू संजू वर्मा ऑलमोस्ट ऑन क्यू द टीएमसी एम पी फ्रॉम बारासात डॉक्टर काकोली घोष दस्तीदार हैज जस्ट ट्वीटेड सेइंग वट बीजेपी इंडिया बीजेपी डस थ्रू सी इट्स ऑल अ ब्लफ टू स्केर बेंगोलीज एंड मटुआज दे आर विद दीदी शी हैज ट्वीटेड दिस वीडियो सो क्लियरली और मैसेजिंग हैज हिट द इंटेंडेड टारगेट padmaja <laughs> uh, uh, good to see you uh, you know bringing your uh, sarcasm uh, to the fore i will uh, say this to you you know you get some very interesting data about how bjp has won in jalpaiguri and you know alipurdwar and kuch bihar and balurghat in uh, north bengal you will be surprised to know though i'm sure you have the data with you uh, that lok sabha 2019 i think the two big seats which the bjp won and which came as a body blow to mamta banerji was the one seat in bangao and the other in ramaghat and let me remind the tmc panelist chair riju datta that out of the 15 mathura dominated seats in assembly election 2021 bjp won how many 1 4 14 and where were these seats these 15 seats were in north 24 pargana and the nadia district which has mathuas as a majority point number 1 point number 2 you know whatever kapoli dastidar says or anybody else i just have this to say to everybody who's saying it is you know illegal are bhai how is it ultra virus of the indian constitution or under article uh, 14 you are saying uh, you know it uh, uh, is discriminatory uh, because kisi ki yahan par nagrikta li nahi ja rahi hai okay. indian muslims ki jo fundamental rights hai they will continue you know only the persecuted minorities of bangladesh afghanistan and pakistan will get legitimate citizenship status main puchna chahti hu riju se are muslims a minority in bangladesh no are muslims a minority in pakistan no are muslims a minority in afghanistan no and for those who say are bhai but pakistan mein hazaras are being persecuted bangladesh mein baluchis and ahmedias are being persecuted to ye kahi nahi likha ki hazaras baluchis and ahmedias cannot get citizenship let them apply under the citizenship okay act of 1955 why the process of naturalization if they stay in india for 12 years and for 12 months consecutively prior to their application of a citizenship for uh, staying in india they will be granted citizenship okay very you know very very big news coming in right now uh, riju datta before i open up i really want to go to mr sarvanan but i have to ask you this we are just being told that there was a rally which was to be carried out by mamta banerji at 1:30 in the afternoon Against CEA and NRC, that's the message we had got. CEA and NRC rally to be carried out at 1:30, and we are just getting news that it has been cancelled. Should we read something into this? Through the day today, also there were supposed to be rallies, protests in Delhi. Many of them were called out. Is there a sense that this is something that is losing steam? It's not really being bought into by many people. Riju Datta. look i will say you this because the discussion is on the mathuas it is mamta banerji who has given land pattas to the mathuas and shantun thakur's cousin sister elder cousin sister mamuta bala thakur from the same mathua committee community has been sent to rajya sabha from the trinamool congress hmm. so it will be the mathuas who will decide whether they will go for this carrot and stick policy of the bjp to deceive misguide and fool the people or they will go with didi whether it will be modi's guarantee or didi's guarantee that people will trust on but one thing i will ask sanju ji my heart goes out to the prosecuted hindus in a terror state like pakistan or bangladesh correct 
बट वॉट अबाउट दोसिक्यूटेड हिंदू इन अ बुद्धिस्ट नेशन ऑफ श्रीलंका उनके लिए आपको दर्द नहीं होता और जिस देश में आप लोग छाती ठोक के कहते हैं कि मोदी जी अस्सी करोड़ लोगों को फ्री में रेशन बांटती है okay. दो करोड़ नौकरी देने का आपने जुमला दिया था एक भी नौकरी नहीं दे पाए वहां पर और लोगों को आप लाना चाह रहे हैं भर्ती करना चाह रहे हैं इस देश में अरे फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट आवर सिटीजन और जो जर्नलिस्ट यहां पर बैठे हैं जिन्होंने कहा मैं उनसे सिर्फ एक ही चीज कहना चाहता हूं सर मैं खत्म संजू जी प्लीज लेट मी फिनिश आई डोंट ओके यू आर आई टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोसिक्यूटेड हिंदूज इन श्रीलंका आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड पॉइंट टू ब्रिंग इन मिस्टर सर्वेनन लेट मिस्टर सर्वेनन आल्सो जॉइन इन एंड देन यू कैन रिप्लाई संजू वर्मा प्रोसिक्यूटेड हिंदूज प्रोसिक्यूटेड तमिल्स इन श्रीलंका टुडे मिस्टर सर्वेनन देयर वाज डेटा दैट वी गॉट दैट देयर इज सिटीजनशिप गिवन टू 4.61 लाख तमिल्स आफ्टर अग्रीमेंट्स वर साइन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका सिंस 1964 and nine, uh, sorry between 1964 and 2008 4.61 lakh tamils have got indian citizenship as we speak 95000 sri lankan tamils are living in tamil nadu on central and state government subsidies and grants it's not as if there is not provision for sri lankan tamils to get indian citizenship then what is this discrimination what is this favoritism that we are talking about yeah <clears throat> see uh, this uh, caa is just a knee jerk reaction of the uh, tight slap received by the bjp in the electoral bonds case they were running helter skelter they did not want to disclose the donors list that is why this extension application of was filed and again supreme court rained a body blow to the bjp and now the entire list is going to come out on the 15th they want to deflect the attention they want the entire nation to discuss something which is uh, uh, hindu and muslim that is the idea of the bjp what we should be discussing is how much money the bjp has received if so bjp so just out of curiosity in 2019 the bjp the said electoral bonds verdict is going to come out in march 2024 so they had it passed then they waited until 2024 in order to notify the rules Five years, uh, they have not done anything, and on the day when this is happening, they are notifying this. See, we have seen several such headline managements. Hmm. The people of India are sick and tired of this. They want some relief. They don't want this Hindu-Muslim debate going on in prime news channels. The last five years, you have done only that. But you have never highlighted the man, common man's problems. It is as, as much a party debate, debate. It's as much a Sikh media. debate. It's I'll as much a Jain debate. See, Yes, These are I, all I'm people who get citizenship. If you see, see it as a Hindu-Muslim yeah, yeah. debate, maybe yeah, the yeah. beauty or the fault lies in the eyes of the beholder, sir. It If is. you see it as it a Hindu-Muslim debate, it maybe is. that is the no, problem. No, we everybody knows what what the media channels I don't know. who are having their allegiance. In the your eyes, you see it as a Hindu-Muslim issue. Just allow me to speak. That is half of allow the problem. Allow me to speak. I'll, I'll explain If that. If somebody is speak. dying in I'll Pakistan because of see, his or her religion, yeah, 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 you would see it as a Hindu-Muslim debate. That is the problem. I will come. No, the problem is with you, people like you who support the BJP day in and day out to throw this divisive agenda. I will come to that. See, CAA is the only uh, legislation. which discriminates people on the basis of religion which is directly violate of article 14 india is a secular country it is not a country for one particular i appreciate religion. your analysis of the tv media at this. large and mean particular let me, i let me. literally just quoted to you data of the number of sri lankan tamils who are currently hmm. living in yeah. india and the number of those who have been granted indian citizenship so clearly there is no law that bars okay. tamils from sri lanka to apply for citizenship similarly similarly there is no law which had barred people from afghanistan pakistan or bangladesh to uh, apply for the same citizenship you are fast tracking them then fast track sri lankan tamils they are also hindus so this false bogey of the bjp that they are savior of the hindus is busted The BJP is the most anti-Hindu party India ever had. They are okay. only worried about the upper 
us to do on sanju varma this agenda oh, has you and you you have election. come back to just your favorite to topic ensure, of upper caste hindus which is pit everywhere from electoral point. bonds to ca but that's okay full marks to you for that you have to slip that in in every debate go on sanju varma thank you padma ji i know you know i have been sticking to the topic of the discussion but since uh, the dmk panelist spoke about electoral bonds let me tell you without shoving things under the carpet 52% of bjp's funds in fy 22 23 came from electoral bonds 94.7% of dmk's funds came from electoral bonds and i have the latest data which says that out of 1902 rupees 1902 crore rupees that we received in fy 22 23 only 58% of our funding was from unknown sources 100% of dmk's funding in fy 22 23 was from unknown sources yaha baith kar naitikta ka bhashan mat do and let me tell you sarvanan how dare you talk about bjp being anti hindu it was your udayanidhi stalin the youth and sports welfare minister the son of mk stalin who compared sanatan dharma to dengue malaria rabies and then went to the supreme court and the supreme court said you have the audacity to condemn a hindu majority country and then you are using article 32 to come and ask us that you should be given reprieve and relief hmm. the supreme court by the way has not given any relief to udayanidhi stalin mr fake lawyer please get your facts right okay no personal no personal comments please no personal comments on the one hand your comments about sanatan dharma and now this the binary being framed mr sarvanan is that you are essentially against hindus mr sarvanan See, that is a myth bjp is a party which is against majority hindus bjp is a party which is against reservation they opposed reservation under the uh, for in the all india medical quota for obcs they are not willing to bring in 69% reservation 69% reservation which is implemented in the state of tamil nadu is for hindus who brought it the dmk brought it why because we are worried about the hindus who are oppressed unlike the bjp which is worried only about the upper caste hindus which whose welfare they want to protect at any cost so it is the dmk which is a party working for the welfare of the hindus unlike the bjp bjp is a anti hindu party that is clearly understood by the way they have ensured that the hindus from sri lanka does not get citizenship an amendment was moved okay. by our leader mr trichy shiva in rajya sabha the bjp ditched it that okay. is why we are Sameer saying ji, bjp you know, is the biggest anti hindu party I, 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 they are it is, it is indeed very interesting dmk talking about the welfare of hindus an anti ca rally tomorrow in west bengal cancelled today barring the aimim and aiudf and sfi the students wing of the left hardly any protest took place on the streets as well kya isko kahenge mandir ki lehar ka after effect on the ca notification निश्चित रूप से पद्मजा जी देखिए अभी मैं को पैनलिस्ट बोल रहे थे कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी हिंदू विरोधी है मैं तो यह कहना चाहता हूं भारतीय जनता पार्टी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेतृत्व में बनी हुई केंद्र सरकार जो भी किस कष्ट में होता है उसकी मदद करती है कोरोना काल आया तो को, कोरोना के लिए जो वैक्सीन भार, भारत ने सभी देशों में भेजी क्या भारत ने यह देखा था कि वह मुस्लिम बहुत कंट्री वहां वैक्सीन नहीं देने वाले और सिर्फ दूसरे कंट्रीज के अंदर वैक्सीन देंगे जिस देश को जरूरत थी भारत ने वहां पर वैक्सीन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सप्लाई किए उनको मरने से बचाया है और वैसे ही दूसरे देशों में जब लोग धार्मिक प्रताड़ से तंग होकर जब मरने की स्टेज में आ रहे थे तो उन्हें नागरिकता का देने के लिए सीए का कानून लेकर आई तो okay. भारतीय जनता पार्टी हो या केंद्र सरकार हो भारत की वह लोगों की मदद करने का काम करती है चाहे वो कोरोना के समय वैक्सीन देने का काम हो चाहे धार्मिक प्रताड़ना के आधार पर वहां पर लोगों को मारने का काम हो तो नागरिकता देकर उन्हें बचाने का काम करती है अब विपक्ष इस बात को समझ गया कि देश की जनता प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के काम को समझ चुकी है कि सबका साथ और सबका विकास प्रधानमंत्री जो कर रहे हैं विपक्ष इसी से बौखला गया है और मुझे लग रहा है 2024 के अंदर सीए के साथ जैसे आर्टिकल 370 जो बड़ा हुआ उसके बाद सीए और ये राम मंदिर ये तीन बड़े मामले होंगे जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को थ्री सेवेंटी सीट देने प्लीज लिखे जैन प्लीज गो ऑन एंड प्लीज होल्ड अप दैट साइन अगेन बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू कट टू इट फुल फ्रेम ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू टेकन सो मच एफर्ट गो ऑन निखिल जैन या प्लीज डू प्लीज 
Let's do. This is something I had prepared for Arnab's debate. I didn't think that I'll have to use it on your debate. Yes. See, the point is that the CAA is giving a fast track mechanism to give citizenship to certain people who the BJP says is on basis of uh, religious persecution, persecution of minorities in certain countries. But so far as the law is concerned, under Article 14, when you create groupings like that, there has to be an intelligible differentia on what basis do you only mention these specific religions and not other religions? On what basis do you mention only these specific neighboring countries and not other neighboring countries? The fact of the matter is, for the BJP, this is a Hindu-Muslim debate. You said, ki, why is it not a Parsi debate? Why is it not a Jain debate? We've been discussing on the topic for 30 wide minutes. Not a single person in the panel, including you and including perhaps all your viewers, nobody has ever talked about the Parsis or the Sikhs or the Christians or the Jains. The BJP blows it as a Hindu-Muslim issue. Continuously, Sanju has been talking about Hindu this community, Muslim this community, Muslim that community, and I 100% agree with Riju's point that this is nothing but symbolism and tokenism. We all know how easy it is to get a voter ID card in the country, how easy it is to get an Aadhaar card in the country. Anybody who is living in this country for a couple of years, they have those proofs of citizenship already. Hmm. The problem with the CAA is because Amit Shah goes and comes, CAA aega, chronology samajiye, NRC aega, NRC mein hum sabse unke kagaz mangenge. We'll ask them to prove their citizenship the same Sarkar, who Supreme Court, will not show them to the Supreme Court until the Supreme Court finally put them to place and ordered the SBI to show the uh, data on the electoral bonds. Fact of the matter is that when an NRC is implemented, poor people of the country, Hindus, Muslims and every other community are going to scramble around trying to find their birth proofs, which they will not be able to find because poor people do not have access it is strange. to such documentation. It is strange as that in the last do. two minutes, you have said it is very easy for people to find documents of identification in our country. And then you also said that when NRC is done, people no, will be no, asked no, for no, documents no, which they will no, not no, have. No, no. I, I, that being I, said, I, I, that I, I, being I, I, said, the no. passion with which you have framed this as an issue of fundamental rights. I have a simple question to you. Through the day, today the Congress party danced around it and spoke of it only as an electoral issue. That the BJP is carrying out a stunt because elections are round the corner. Why? That is my question to you. Why are the Congress leaders wary of taking the stand on it? No, the Congress has been very clearly and strongly taking a stand that when you bring in that act with such hurry in 2019, why does it take you five, four and a half years to bring in the rules to notify the act? This is nothing but something they had kept in their kitty to throw at the people of the country in mm. order to manage headlines when something wrong happens against them, which is the electoral bonds issue that has happened. They okay. do not care about the Hindus. The placard that I was holding... That is, what about the Hindus being persecuted after 2014? So if Hindus are being persecuted in Pakistan today and they want to come, they will not get the benefit of this fast-track uh, fast citizenship into the country. This is the entire point that for okay. BJP, if there were so many Hindus, why did they not come here for 4.5 years? Okay, go on. Sanju Varma responds. Look at how brazenly political the government of Akin Bhi is. That Ministry of Home Affairs says, COVID-19 is not here. Okay, respond to that. What were you doing for four and a half years? नहीं नहीं आज हिंदुइज्म पर भाषण कौन दे रहा है कांग्रेस का वो प्रवक्ता जो आज तक इसने चुप्पी साधी रही जब कांग्रेस सर प्रभु राम इस एक फिगमेंट ऑफ़ द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ़ बीजेपी प्रभु राम डज नॉट एक्जिस्ट या शशि थरूर सर इफ बीजेपी कम्स तू पावर इन 2019 हिंदू तालिबान विल बी ऑन द राइज योर मलिक Rabies, Dengue, Malaria, kya galat kiya? Nikhil Jain will not condemn Mudhyani Di Stalin. Nikhil Jain will not condemn Priyanka Kharge. This uh, Congress panelist will not condemn Shashi Tharoor. This Congress panelist will not condemn Rahul Gandhi, who doubts the veracity of Lord Ram. Aur yaha betkar yeh BJP ko Hinduism par paak padha rahe hai. Aapke paak ki zarurat nahi hai. But my last point is this. My last point to Riju. He spoke about how BJP is anti-Mathwa's, anti-Rajabangshi's. Very quickly in 20 seconds. Sandesh Khali horror. Sandesh Khali has a population of 2.5 lakh Padmaja, out of which 45% are women, which means 1 lakh 12,000 are women in Sandesh Khali, of which 67% belong to the Mathua and Rajbangshi community, which means 75,000 Mathua and Rajbangshi women who were raped repeatedly for 10 years by Shah Jahan Sheikh. तब कहा कि आपकी जुमले बाजी वाली ममता दीदी, she never even showed crocodile tears, she was actually protecting the rapist Shahjahan Sheikh and Rijudatta यहाँ बैठकर he is trying to become the beacon of all that is fair.
there all right i'm going to leave it at that see this was only to put out for our viewers the situation before various political parties and how the political manifestation of this move is going to play out after this you are the best judge of where each party stands and why thanks gentlemen sanju verma for joining me